Welcome back programmers! This time we are doing the save and save as features. Yes, I will add some menus and open another window to be able to choose the um, file format, okay, JPEG or BMP or PNG and also for some of the formats the level of compression and just the file name to which I want to save. So the main feature, so we have a nice code, clean passing structures. Let's check if it runs by the way. I just cleaned the code so it should work the same. My image is here, I can zoom, I can fit, I can resize. That works, star still there. What I'm going to do is add two menus, so okay. In the file menu, I'm going to add after the open, I'm going to add a save and the save will just save the modifications of your image back to the file where it came from. Okay, here if I were to save, it will save it in the cube.jpg file and I will add a save as with the ellipsis that will open a child window, another window will let you choose the file format, the file name, the compression level and save and cancel buttons. So let's do that. I'm just going to show you here. I've prepared that resize save as look at that. Boom. That's going to be the window save as okay file. Then a text box ellipsis button to choose your file with a file requester format with a combo box compression with a slider here and save and cancel buttons nothing too fancy we can add this this file to the um, project okay add that's right and that is it now I'm just going to reduce that procedure, okay? And I'm just going to copy and explain to you the result, okay? And once again, this guy here. Okay, so you will see some little changes here and there. What did I do? First, I have now two new constants, menu file save, menu file save as. Of course, we are adding two new menus. Then some constants for the save as uh, image format. So that's going to be for my combo box. Okay, for my combo box format, I want the BMP, the ICO, JPEG, two kind of JPEG, JPEG 2000 and JPEG, and the PNG format then i'm including of course the pbf file the form still my declaration my structure some forward declaration okay my main image global viable i've added a lot of different okay first initially i used to have just this to display jpegs now i want to be able to save jpeg so i need the encoder I want to be able to open and save JPEG 2000 as well as PNG files. So I need all these encoders and decoders. So let's start with the open window main. I'm creating the two new file menus. Save with Control S and save as with the ellipsis with Control Shift S. Why not? Then in the on menu event here I need to switch to call the correct code okay based on the menu so if the menu file save I'm saving the image well basically that's the whole code here for the save look at that if I click on menu save save image so that's a command from the pure basic save image you pass the image the file name the format flags and some depth and that's basically what I'm doing here. Save image. 
I'm passing the image main and the same image file path and the image is saved. Here I'm flagging back to false. Is it modified? No. It's not modified anymore. And so I can call the field title and status bar to remove this uh, star, the asterisk, from the file name. And that's how the file works. The save, sorry, the save. Very, very easy. Three lines of code and we're good to go for the save. Um, let's run the save, for example. It doesn't work. Viable have to be declared file path. Ha, huh, that doesn't work. Why is that? If I run this, okay, let's modify this very nice image. I'm going to resize it to 100 and 800, no, 850. Okay, keep ratio. No, we're going to change the ratio, by the way. Let's keep 600 or something like that. Resize. So it's been changed a little bit. If I do for a save, huh, see the star has disappeared. And now the image, if I close it and I reopen it, cube.jpg has changed here 850 by 600 that has been resized so the save works now the save has much more complicated let's go back to the on menu event when you save fine three lines done menu file save as huh. then i'm calling open save as window that's remember Open window, save as. But look, it's not the same. Open, save as window. Okay, so that, that's one of... I had to rewrite this. Why is that? It's because I want to open the window and also initialize some of the controls. I want to put, let's say, the file path, the actual format in the combo box, etc. So let's look at this uh, procedure. Where is it? Open, save as window. Sorry. Here, I'm calling the open window save as, that will open my child window. And then I'm setting some data here. I'm setting some text for the file path, okay? Also, I have a combo box and I'm filling up the combo box with the different formats, okay? BMP, ICO, JPEG, etc. But for each item of my combo box, I'm also adding a data, a piece of data with each item. And the piece of data is going to be the constant value of the image format. So for the BMP, it's PB image plugin BMP, etc. And when I will be about to save, when I will save the image, I will get the data from the combo box, from the one that is selected, from the selected item, I will get the data attached to this selected item and I will use this data directly in the save image procedure, in the save image command to tell a pure basic which format to use to save the image. So here I'm filling up the combo box and here I'm doing a little bit of logic what I'm doing is I'm checking the image format of the image and based on the image format, I'm um, initializing the combo box. Okay, if the image is the BMP, I will initialize the combo box to display to select BMP. If it's a, if it's a PNG, I will select PNG. So you don't have to select yourself back. It's by default, it will be the format of the actual format of the image. That's done right here. And depending on the image format, I will display or not some of the controls, the one that I use for the compression level. Okay, so I have two, two gadgets for the compression levels, uh, three gadgets. I have a, la a label, then the slider, 
and another label something like that and here it's in the show save as compression here you see um, exactly the text compression the track bar compression and the text compression level those three gadgets I either um, hide them or show them depending on what I pass as a parameter so that's in the open save as window and finally I'm initializing the compression level it's impossible to get the compression level from the image file so I'm just uh, putting a default value of 7 which is actually the default value used by the save image command if you're not passing any compression level and then I'm disabling the main window okay remember when I want to display a modal uh, dialog window I need to display this window and when I'm opening the window I want to disable the window main so that you cannot go back you have to cancel or save that's done right here with the disable window true now that we have opened our window if I go back to the on menu event that is it is it here yes open save as window but everything is done in the on gadget event so let's have a look at that on gadget event now I'm switching based on the window if it's the window main I'm calling a procedure specific to the main window if it's the resize etc so I've created now these two lines if it's the window save as gadget that has been that has raised an event I'm calling the on save as window gadget event on save as gadget on save as window gadget event procedure is right here what do I do here? Well, depending on which gadget has raised the event, I'm doing different actions. If I'm opening the file requester by clicking the ellipsis button, well, that's exactly what it does. I'm opening the file requester, uh, proposing some image formats and that lets you choose whatever file you want to save your image in I'm putting the res I'm initializing with the file path the actual file path of the image and this returns the file path that you have chosen the new file path and then I put this new file path in the edit box but you can type it by hand it's gonna be the same if I'm selecting changing the value of the combo of the combo box if I'm changing the value I call the on save as format changed huh, let's have a look at this on save as format changed what I wanted to do here is depending on which format you choose if you choose a PNG it will take your file name and change the extensions to the extension that matches the format that you chose if you choose BMP it will replace the extension by BMP icon it's ICO JPEG 2000 it's going to be JPEG with an E JPEG JPG and PNG well PNG and so that's what I'm doing here I'm getting the file path okay by reading the edit box getting the extension just the extension part by calling this get extension part command of pure basic to get the extension then I'm initializing a new variable new extension new ext that is a string and here I'm getting see getting the image item data so the data that is linked to my selected item in my combo box I'm get gadget item data from the combo uh, and get gadget state returns the actual selected item so in my format here I will have the values here PB image plugin or PB image plugin icon etc based on this I just put the value on the new extension and then if I have an extension at the end of this select I will just replace it here 
and put it back in the gadget in the text gadget if you change the track bar if you move the track bar I just change the compression level in, in the window set compression levels save as compression level it's right here I limit to one minimum 10 maximum and I put back the set gadget state so the level of the track bar and also I put the text 1 to 10 the text in the text gadget at the right of the track bar and then the final feature the cancel you know the drill if I click on cancel I'm just closing the child window so here I've created a new procedure close child window just to show you because I'm reusing this in other places I'm passing the ID of the window and I'm closing this window and re-enabling here the main window but the big here is the save as on save as when I click on the save as I'm calling on save as and then I'm closing the window so on save as let's have a look at that well it's not that big actually but look what do we do here I'm getting the file path the new file path okay from the text gadget that's one if the file path is not empty I'm getting the format from the combo box same trick here here the get gadget state return the selected item and then the get gadget item data return the data linked to this item compression level I'm just reading the compression level result uh, by default you see it's yes why because here I want to check if the file exists or not so to do that you have to use the file size uh, command if the file size is greater than zero it means that the file exists okay so here if file size greater than zero the file exists so I'm asking the confirmation to the user okay do you want to erase this file do you want to override the file exists the file already exists forgotten s override and then I'm displaying a warning and asking yes or no and I put that in the result but remember I initialized the result at yes so if the file does not exist I do not even display that and the result will be yes if the file exists I will ask the confirmation and the result will be yes or no if the result is yes so if the user wants to erase the file replace the file or if the file does not exist already then I'm saving the image as easy as this which image the main image in which file path this guy the one read from the text gadget which format this format which compression level the compression level read from the track bar if it's a BMP or a format that does not require a compression level it will just not use it that's how the save image work and then I'm resetting the image the main image so I'm changing the file path of my main image to file path dollar okay the one read from the text gadget and also I'm putting it back the modify to false yes it's not modified anymore I want to remove this asterisk in the title and of course I'm calling the file title and status bar to reinitialize everything so what the save as is doing is actually saving to a new file with maybe a new format but the image that you keep in your image processor is the new image it's not the former one it's the the new one that's what I'm doing right here and that's it that's it guys it's done the the, the image processor is finished let's look at the finished product I have my cube image 
I can re it's a JPEG. I can resize it to a different. Let's make it let's make it very small, like this. Keep ratio yes. Resize. Oh, oh look at that. Star is modified. Now I have my save as. Look at this child window file. I'm not going to save it in the cubed JPEG. I'm going to open the file requester. Let's call it cube mm, underscore small. Okay. And I'm going to okay save it as a PNG. Okay. Save. Voila. No more asterisk. Now it's cube small dot png and it's 100 pixel wide. Let's open it back again. See, I have my cube.jpg now my cube small dot png. If I reopen my cube.jpg and I want to do another save as, let's say I want to go png again and cube small again. Here it should ask for a confirmation. Huh, the file already exists. Override. Nope. This closes the window. And actually it's, it's a bug because, yeah, I should not close the whole window. I should stay on this one. <laughs> Why not? Um, and that's it. BMP. Okay. Ico. Let's save it as a BMP just to see. Save. Okay. BMP file. I can open my cube small. I can open my BMP file. That works fine. And that is it, guys. That's a very long video for the save and save as feature of the simple image processor. Next time, and maybe last time for the simple image processor, maybe one or two more videos, and that's gonna be it. Uh, next time, remember if you watch the first video, the very first one on the simple image processor, I wanted to do some batch processing. Okay, you take a folder and you resize all images uh, from this folder, saving it, save, saving them to a new folder maybe uh, so batch processing of folders and that's what i'm going to do next and also maybe just for the for the fun i will have a different uh, maybe i can add some features in the image uh, menu for example rotate okay what else uh, uh, some of you wanted to do a filter maybe i can turn the image into black and white Something like that, I don't know. Maybe one filter and the, as I said, the batch processing. And maybe a third one, I'm not sure yet. I have some ideas coming on. Uh, maybe a third one on running this batch processing. Once I've done the batch processing, maybe I will do running the simple image processor from the command line. So you don't have to open the UI here and do it from the menu you can just run the command like for example sip slash batch slash whatever with some options and you can execute directly the resizing of all the fold, uh, whole folder or some folders just from the command line uh, we'll see that i don't know yet Oh, that was a long video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to, uh, I don't remember where they are. You just like button if you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I hope I can publish this video very soon and I will try to do more and keep my schedule. Thank you all for watching. Keep safe. I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.